Being a UNESCO heritage site, Olinda is one of the most beautiful towns in Brazil. It is very close to Recife, one of the main capitals in the northeast of the country, so it's very easily accessible by just having a short Uber drive from the capital to the town, which is right next to it. Olinda really shines in the afternoon and the evenings when people come to enjoy the views as well as the restaurants and the nightlife in there. There isn't a, any sort of like clubs or anything like that, but the town becomes very lively with everyone going through the street art uh, fairs and the artisan galleries you can find, as well as the attractions all over the town. So on this video, I will be showing you Olinda in the afternoon and the evening. I have a full video about Olinda in the morning when it's, when it's much quieter, you can enjoy the views without the crowds. So if you want to take a look in that, check that one out. But for now, let's see how it looks like after lunch. Or better yet, let's start uh, with lunch. It is about lunchtime, so I will just uh, sit here in the restaurant that has a beautiful view uh, called Mirante Restaurant. It's still a bit early, so I have a feeling that when it's like half an hour later, it's going to be busy. So I'm just gonna sit there now, have some bit of an early lunch before continuing my journey. So probably having some fish. So let's see what they have. And this is fact that it's not even noon, it's a quarter to 12. And all of the tables by the window are taken. So do come here at 11.30 or something like that. This is the second restaurant I tried, it's not the one that I thought I would get. But I got the last one on this restaurant, so make sure to be here early. and then there is like this little kind of gallery here and at the end of the gallery you have like another good view so if you enjoy stopping and looking at the views it's good it's just really near that artisanal fair I told you earlier and over there the yellow ones they're all going to be for tapioca lots of people selling tapioca there so it's one of the things you must try if you're around here later this afternoon or evening I will try and get some so that I just had lunch so I'm not feeling in the mood for that right now but it is a must if you're around here. Oh, this is cool. This is like passport and then you have like all of their main destinations here which I am still to go. Is it open? Oh no. Too bad. I guess it's just this one. I thought you could turn the leaves, but no. But this one is already cool. Wow. If you can hear the music, that is Frevo. The guy just passed on, like listening to that. So let's continue going to the museum of the giant dolls or the carnival here. I just went inside the, the museum. It is really, really similar to the one we've seen in Pacific. That one, you pay a little bit more. This one is like 11 reais. So, what, two, three pounds over there is slightly more expensive. It's like 15, I guess. So, this is, I guess, more traditional. But both of them, you will have pretty much the same thing. So, just make sure you choose one, but I wouldn't go to both. Unless you're really into. I don't know, carnival dolls, big dolls, then by all means go to both of them. But yeah, it's a, it's a neat museum to see a little bit of the carnival culture here. While we go to the other part of town here, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Olinda and also about its carnival, which is one of the most important ones here. So if you remember the little dolls that we've seen, those are the dolls that come out in the carnival every year. So they parade through the cities. If you go on Google and you search for the attractions here, you will see like always a picture of carnival, loads of people on the street. It is one of our most popular carnival styles, I would say, in Brazil. It gets really full, you can't really even walk on the streets. And the city is historical, so it's, it's just like a nice place for you to come enjoy the architecture whilst enjoying carnival as well. A uh, fun fact about the city is that when it was founded, like I think around the early 1500s in the 16th century, the people that got here found that it was such a beautiful place 
that they said something like O oh, Linda, which translates to Oh Beautiful, because it was a very beautiful place and, and they just thought it was like, would be a great place to settle and start building a town. So that is the origin of its name. And indeed, it's not only the nature, but the, even the architecture. And it was a very rich town back in the day, so we will see like uh, down there the last place we're gonna go to is going to be uh, a monastery with uh, that is full of gold. It's one of the richest churches in town. So we're gonna look at that uh, in a moment. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of the background of the city itself. It's now mid afternoon. I have waited a little bit. The sun is still really hot, but I went for my dessert now, which is a tapioca, as I told you. It is this here. I chose banana with Nutella, which is one of my favorite flavors on desserts. So I'm gonna try it out now. Tapioca is very typical from this area here, so this is a must try. It's not only sweet that you can get, you can get savory, you can get all types of like feelings that you want. They have a very long list. You just need to choose whatever it is that you would like and they will prepare it right in front of you. Uh, we are now coming down the steep streets. We came from all the way up there. I'm not sure you can see that, but the, the church there. And now we get into another part here. I think it's where a lot of the concentration for carnival happens. You can see a lot of colorful houses, even more colorful than I've seen before. So I'm just gonna stop here, take a look at that. So we came from there, all the way up there. And this is the kind of, I think, a place where the carnival happens. And now we're gonna go down that way. I think over there is more like the normal city, like less touristic. So we're going to go back down that way, which is where most of the things will be. Now it's Mercado da Ribeira and Mercado da Ribeira is a kind of a place where you have loads of small shops with artisanal items. The artisans are here doing their own art at times and underneath here you can see what is a senzala which is a place where back in colonial times people used to keep the enslaved people in. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit of that kind of darker history of the Brazil in colonial times you can come and visit. There is like a underground area here that you can just go and take a look otherwise you can just come and support the small businesses here loads of them are like born and bred here in Olinda so they are very local people and you can support the economy in the area by acquiring some of their stuff I bought myself a couple small paintings and uh, Literatura de Cordel which is a rudimentary type of um, Brazilian comics, I would say. It's a short story that is uh, very thin and would be hanging on a wire. So you can get some for you as well. It's very typical from the region. This purple house here that you see is the house of a famous Brazilian musician called Alceu Valença. So if you're interested in Brazilian music, I suggest you listen to some of his music. He's very popular in Brazil. His genre, I'm not sure what is. I would call it like popular Brazilian music, MPB. But maybe he has a specific genre I'm not aware of. So just like a fun fact, if you want to know, this is the house that he comes during carnival and summertime, I guess. So very big. I think it was one of the biggest ones I've seen so far in here. So I came here at uh, Mosteiro de São Bento, St. Benedict uh, Monastery, to show you the altar on this church here, inside this church. It is completely made of gold, it's beautiful. I went inside, but as you can see, it's crowded because there is a recital going on right now. So it's like completely taken, and I, maybe you can hear them, they are still singing. So I just went inside, I took some footage for you to see, but I would suggest if you're here, this is a must-come point, because it's the richest uh, church here in Olinda. I will be going to watch the sunset now, but if you enjoyed this video, check out this other one here where I tell you all about Recife, which is the capital and it's just right next door. I'll see you soon. Bye!